Hi guys, it's me, Grandma Lily, and it is time for story time with Grandma Lily. So today's Friday. I hope you guys had a really great day today. I did not have such a good day today. Um, I had uh, to practice playing an instrument and I'm usually really good at it, but I was having a lot of trouble and it took me a long time to learn what I had to learn, but I kept at it and I think I did a pretty good job. But I'll tell you, that was just the end of a not great day. But it's Friday, and so um, I want to say hello to my babies, Elijah, Jordan, Kylie. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you again. And Serenity, I love you, sweetheart. And I hope that you all got, you guys all had a great day, and you're going to have a wonderful weekend. And we're going to, it's spring is here, it's May, it's going to be beautiful. We still have to wear masks when we go outside, though. Make sure you still do that. And so now yesterday, I read you a book, um, and it was for Elijah, and it was called Grandma Gets Grumpy. And I, I read it because Elijah told me I was mean. So today, I thought, for me, since I had such a bad day today. It was just not a good day. So today, I am going to read you a book about a little boy named Alexander. Alexander had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. So, I figure if I had a pretty bad day, maybe Alexander and I could have something in common. So we're going to read about Alexander today. So get your stuffies, get your cookies and milk. If you guys had a bad day, then you can crawl under a blanket here like Alexander and listen while I read. We are going to read Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And this is by Judith Fjorst and it's illustrated by Ray Cruz. Okay, and remember I, remember I told you that I get a lot of my books from thrift stores and from used bookstores, and sometimes they, they belong to people, and this book belonged to a young boy named Brandon, and it's dated, somebody gave it to him in 2003. So 17 years ago, a young boy named Brandon was given this book by somebody. So I don't know where you are, Brandon, and I don't know how old you are now, but thank you so much for letting us have your book about Alexander. So here we go. Alexander. Okay. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Viorst, illustrated by Ray Cruz. This one is dedicated to Robert Lesher with love and thanks. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair, and when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a horrible, n ter a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. See, I can't even say it. It's such a bad day. Alexander does not look happy. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have the seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, 
very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was his only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Hmm. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week, and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then I started crying because of the mud. And Nick, then Nick said I was a crybaby. And, and, and... While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having it. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also told us to watch out for the books on his desk and I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain. And I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. Hate my railroad train pajamas. I don't know, I kind of like those railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back, took back the pillow he said I could keep. And the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. The end. So Alexander did not have a good day. A lot of things happened to him. 
He got muddy. He got yelled at. The cat didn't want to sleep with him. He had to go to the dentist. A whole bunch of things happened to him and he had a really, really bad day. But you know what? His mom was right. Sometimes bad days happen. And guess what? You go to sleep and you wake up the next day and it's a whole new day. So just like Alexander did, I'm going to go to sleep. And when I wake up tomorrow, it's going to be a whole brand new day. And let's see what special book we have tomorrow. Okay. I will talk to you tomorrow, guys. You have a wonderful Saturday. Grandma Lily loves you. Bye-bye.